What's up everyone, Cole Caparoon here. Thank you so much for stopping by for another video. I really appreciate it. And maybe I need to come up with something else to say in the beginning of these videos, because I've been saying that a lot lately. <laughs> If you're new here to the channel, welcome, and I'd love it if you would consider subscribing. And if you decide to subscribe, hit the bell icon next to the subscribe tab so you get notified when I upload new videos. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment on this one. The more interaction these videos get, the more thumbs up and the more comments these videos get, the more traction the video gets, and the more traction these videos get, the more I can justify taking the time to make them. So thank you very much. So I've been asked about these monitors a billion times. I've had monitors set up like this for quite a while now, quite a few years. And getting my monitors set up like this was a solution to a problem that I had. Now, ideally, you want your speakers pointed like aiming to the back of your head, and you'd like them to be an equilateral triangle from the back of your head, uh, equidistant to each monitor, and then equidistant to each other. And so you want it a perfect triangle. Uh, that's the ideal way to have it. Now, unfortunately, once you have more than a, a couple sets of monitors up here, this becomes really really difficult, especially if your video monitors are between your audio monitors. It's incredibly hard to maintain this perfect triangle when that's the situation. Also, in addition to that, you want your audio monitors ear level, or at least the way I do it, I want the tweeters to be ear level. And so you take a tape measure and you measure from floor to your ear, and then that's how high I want my actual monitors to be. So doing the best we can to maintain this equilateral triangle, this means that the video monitors are very much in the way. So a few years Years ago, an audio company came out with a monitor that is designed to sit like this very low and angled up, and it's also a touchscreen monitor. However, I wasn't about to pay a thousand dollars for one of these monitors, uh, especially because I'm not at all interested in the touch features of these monitors. And so this is what I came up with. Now, pretty much every computer monitor that you would buy comes with a little stand like this. That's really dusty. <laughs> I haven't touched this in years. They come with a stand like this and most of them will just unclip and uh, then that gets rid of the stand that the monitor actually sits on. So with that removed, it was time to build something that would hold these monitors in place. Let me show you that now. So that's what it looks like behind the scenes. There's not really that much there. It's incredibly simple and it's incredibly lightweight. So all I did was I went and got a couple one by two boards and I figured out how wide it needed to be and I figured out how tall it needed to be. I just put these little nubs on here to keep the monitor from sliding down. And then that was, I mean, that's pretty much it. There's, there's not really that much to it. So one of the things that I actually came up with when building this, I actually came up with this when I was building some acoustic panels and I was working on a frame to stretch the fabric around is using one by twos and actually just using staples to connect the pieces together. I was having some real issues with using screws or nails in the fact that a lot of times the wood would actually split because it's such small wood. And by the time you put a big, you know, screw in there. If you don't drill a pilot hole, then it'll split. And even with drilling a pilot hole, it's just a pain in the butt. And so I figured out that if I just took a stapler and just put a handful of staples on every single joint, it works really, really well. And it's actually pretty sturdy, especially for however sturdy it needs to be to hold a couple monitors. Now, whatever size you would build, this would depend on the angle you'd like your monitors to sit at and also the size of your monitors, if you're using just one or if you're using two. But this all in all cost me about $8. Once I had the dimensions figured out, which was actually the hardest part, it took 20 minutes to build. And then it just comes in and it just sits right down there. And then I set my monitors right back up on top of it. So let's hook those back up. So that's my DIY monitor stands. I hope that this helped you and gave you some ideas on how you can better your setup. This has been a really wonderful setup for me. It's worked really well for a lot of years and I love it a lot. And uh, I can't really think of any other way I'd rather have it set up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and hit the bell and all of the things. Check out some of the other videos. Don't forget to hit me up on Instagram at Colt Caparoon and hit up my website, coltcaparoon.com. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.